I think this is really amazing because uh, I just stumbled on it on Facebook and it's already like 6,000 uh, people 7, there. 7,000 now. In a minute, one more thousand. <laughs> yeah, I want to be a part of something that's that bring positive to our country. A lot of people, average people, don't know what's going on, and they only know what they see. And and it, it's it's sad but true that in this society, that not enough people are, are involved. You think you want to come to a meeting at the local school or at the local cafe tropical or whatever? So I'm really sort of into that. I'm here because I think that unless you're involved in a civic way in society, you're just sitting on the sidelines and that you really can't afford to, to do that. One of the things that's been really kind of bothering me a lot is watching since the national elections and the election of Obama, that there's been so little activism uh, around the country. I mean, around anything, including the, from a progressive point of view, including the healthcare reform issues. Um, and there's a kind of passivity. Wake up and smell the coffee. It's just so, it's just so perfect. It's going to be a challenge as a grassroots movement to, to do this, but we have to. We have to do it for us, for our future, you know, and our kids, and our kids' kids. Most of the mission statement is honing on government for the people. Um, people for the government, meaning that we need to participate too. I think what we want is democracy back for all of us. I came because I'm very interested in organizations forming from the grassroots, you know, rather than being created somewhere at the top. And I was, I was very curious to see who was going to be. That's one reason I came. You know, who was interested in getting together on a Sunday. Just alone in this week, these were the movements that started. So I have Utah, Rhode Island, New Jersey, uh, Reston, Herman, Virginia, um, Charleston, Orange County, California, Tennessee, South Carolina, Denver, Colorado, Florida, Maine, Chicago. We also have Houston, Texas starting today. <laughs> San Francisco, Washington, D.C., San Antonio, and Atlanta. I'm really excited about this because I think when you organize people in your neighborhood, that can be really strong. That can be something when you have community meetings that you have organized a base around. And if you do that all over the country, that's not easy to deceive people when, when you have people talking about issues all the time. Local people interested in coming and having coffee on Sundays and just hearing about what's going on and cutting through the noise and just getting through to the ideas and to facts. And, what other people's voices are about. Make people see and realize and do something about it, you know. And that's why I'm here. <laughs> this seems really different to me. I guess I'm just responding to something you said. That a lot of organizations that, you know, end the war piece now, we want help. It seems like, as opposed to doing it that way as a real attempt you know, to organize people nationally and a fresh way of doing it. So I just sort of, I'm not wearing one, but I wanted to take off my hat <laughs> to, to you guys who organized this yeah. and say thank you. It, it just it made my heart different. feel good. <laughs>